where the toughest private eye in American literature serves up rough justice. And now, Gary Sandy and a talented local cast in Encore for Murder. Broadway! <laughs> you could call Broadway the Great White Way. Have plenty of company. You could say it was just a stretch of concrete, a meandering one-time cow path. You could define it as 12 blocks, three-fifths of a mile, demarcated south of 42nd Street by the bustling Garment District, north of Columbus Circle by Central Park around 59th Street. You could say it was all these things. You wouldn't be wrong, but you wouldn't be right. Not really, because Broadway is a state of mind. Yeah, the girls and boys come from Keokuk and Duluth, London and Beirut, some of them gifted and talented, others not, but all driven to snag a slice of fame on that famous street lined up and down with theaters. Now, the fact of the matter is there's only a handful of legitimate theaters on the street called Broadway, but the state of mind called Broadway has many more stages spilling out east and west on the narrow side streets of the 40s and the 50s. And every once in a while, a kid from nowhere becomes a star in the big somewhere of Broadway and Rita Vance was one of them. Me? Ah, I was strictly off-Broadway, a very old-fashioned private dick who's closed many a shows both in and out of town for assorted bad guys who thought that they were the star of the piece. Anyway, you might wonder what I was doing at Sardi's. Yeah, yeah, you know Sardi's? That fabled restaurant on West 44th, self-proclaimed toast of Broadway. And you may wonder why Sardi's was having an event on a cool fall Monday afternoon when the theaters were closed. Mike Hammer, what are you doing at this event? You have less culture than the average Petri dish. Liz Barrett, old school gossip columnist, a rare breed in these internet days. 